Black Friday deals just started dropping and I want to show you three that I definitely think you should check out. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. What's up everyone? So new Black Friday deals just started dropping as of today and I want to show you three that you should definitely look out for. Now be aware that the pricing that I'm going to show you right now will increase in a few hours or days depending when you watch this video. So I do recommend that if you like the deal that I'm going to talk about, grab it right now and don't be afraid because there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So grab it now with the pricing and test it out with calm. All right. So the first one I want to talk about is Mimble. This one came back and I've made a video about them in the past. And I definitely think that you should check them out because I love the features that they have. Now, right now, the deal starts off at $69 for the lifetime deal. And remember, that's paid once and used forever. And there's a 60 day money back guarantee. All right. So what does Mimble actually do? Well, you can upload videos from your desktop or upload them from, for example, YouTube and bring them inside of here. So in this case, what I've done is I uploaded a video that I downloaded of the iPhone launch. So in this case, I can remix this video. I can turn it out to be better. I can transcribe it. I can make some hard cuts in it where there's silence. And there's just so many things that I can do with Mimble. This is one of my personal favorites to turn your videos into interesting videos for your stories, YouTube, and etc. All right. So all I've done right now is bring in the video and it transcribe it for me. So in this case, we have the transcription here on the left. And each time that I click on a word, I can do things with it. For example, I can change the color. For example, we have the transcription going on on the screen and I can highlight that. For example, I can make it super size. I can add an emoji. I can fix the typo in case it misspelled a word. This will be common, especially with the brands, because obviously brands sound kind of uh, normal words per se. And you can fix the typo with this. Now, aside from that, it has some magic edits that makes things super fast to edit. Now on the right, you see right here, magic edits. I can activate magic frames, which will use AI frames for the speakers. Now in this case, if there's speakers all around, what it's going to do is frame it where it should be framed. All right, in this case. Now right now you are viewing a 360p uh, preview mode, but when you export this, it will be in 1080p or 4K, whatever you decide, all right? There's also the magic cuts. And what it's going to do is if there's space, for example, there's a, a really quick example right here. There's a little space right here where no one is talking and nothing is going on. So it will do a hard cut. Let me hit play right here. Like, like connecting, connecting with so easily, like, like connecting with, with our family, family and friends. So it jumped that part and this will do it automatically by just clicking on activate magic cut. There's also magic emojis. Will it, it will insert emojis where it thinks it's kind of talking about that thing and then it adds it. So if it's talking about a uh, spaceship, etc it'll add a rocket as the emoji and it'll do this automatically. If you don't like it, for example, here, I don't think it goes with this. I'll just right click and I'll delete it. But the idea is to have this automated and then just kind of look through it and fix what you don't like or like. You can also manually add the emojis, all right? There's also magic media. It'll add AI images and B rolls to this. So I think that's really interesting one, especially in this case, it already has B rolls and cuts in, in this specific video. But if it's just like a normal video, if you're it's a podcast video, for example, that's an hour long, you will want to use some magic media there. So it adds some B roll and some AI images that have to do with what you're talking about. So it's a great idea. There's also magic emphasize where it'll highlight keywords that it finds interesting to highlight. And this will do it automatically. But again, you can do this manually, just like I showed you in the beginning, magic sound, magic music and audio cleanup, which will remove the background noise. In this case, the noise is perfect because it's the Apple launch. But if not, you can use the auto audio cleanup from this feature. And aside from that, there's every single feature here to do things manually. I mean, if I click on this section, I can do a hard cut. I can move the frame. Let's just say that the frame is not correct. Maybe it should be highlighting the, highlighting the phone. Well, I can do so by just dragging this little square to the exact part of the phone. And that's just a quick example of how you can do this. You can also frame by full frame. You can do half frame. And this would be a great idea if this was a podcast with two people, for example. In this case, it's not the best use case for this. But again, for example, I'll highlight the phone and then I'll highlight her, for example. All right. Then we have the phone and we have her in this half cut video. And you get the idea how you can use that. There's the one third. There's a pip, which is the person in person. It'll have a little circle there where you can highlight certain areas and you can apply this to all the video if you like. 
I wouldn't use that feature unless you want to just do full frame for everything or half frame. But if you want to tweak this, I wouldn't use apply to all, but it saves you time in case you do want to do that, right? There's also titles for this. You can change it. There's the captions, changing colors, etc. There's the brand. If you want to add your logo, your details there, the audio, you can select audio from the audio soundtracks available here or upload your own intro outro. If you want to add that there and a background for this, especially if let's just say right there, there's a little black in there. You can add a background to there in case some of the frames don't fit correctly there per se. So I really think that this is a really great deal, especially for what you're going to pay. And the idea is to make your videos more interesting. You grab a video just like I'm doing right now from the Apple launch. You do all these cuts, etc., and you launch it on Instagram, on YouTube Shorts, etc., TikTok, and you have an original per se video with customization that makes it really interesting. You pop up when there's interesting things. You add some transcribe, etc., and you can grab this for a lifetime deal right now. So that's one of my recommendations from the Black Friday drops that are going on right now. All right. The next one I want to show you is Neuron Rider. This one is, I think, one of the best writers out there that gives you the flexibility of writing your own content and using AI, depending. You can balance this however you like. Now, right now, it starts off at $89 for the lifetime deal. And remember, the price will increase. So grab it now, all right? Now, this is Neuron Rider, and I've just started a new content query. And what I'm asking it to do is write a post about Creality versus Bamboo Lab top 3D printers. So those are two brands for 3D printers. Country where I want to focus on, in this case, United States, La Language. There's several languages available. And there's the advanced settings in case you manually want to add your own competitors. This will look out for them, but you can add them here. Content management and consider the additional keywords here that you think should be in the content in case it doesn't generate it for you manually. All right, let's go ahead and start this off. It's going to load and we're going to see how it does its magic. All right, so let's give it a few seconds for this to finish here. Here we go. It just finished providing me the information that I'm going to need to rank on Google, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this new project and it's going to show me the competitors who are actually ranking for this particular use case. For example, there's Bamboo versus Creality, and it's showing me two uh, printers that it's talking about. I can select and deselect what I think should be considered to rank my content based on who I select here. So these are the top Google ranks right now, and I can go ahead and deselect, for example, let's just say that um, I don't care about YouTube. So I can go ahead and remove YouTube from these examples in case I don't want it to consider for my competition analysis, right? So in this case, I'll select those. I'll hit next. It's going to jump me to the writer section. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, here we go. I am now inside the content editor. I'm going to show you how easy this actually is. So I'm going to choose, for example, the title and I can go ahead and manually create my title or I can go ahead and generate it with AI. It's up to me. And every single aspect of Neural Writer gives you two options to do it on your own or write it. So in this case, it wrote it generated for me. I think that's fine. I also wanted to generate the description and it'll do it really quickly. Here we go. We got description. Let's go ahead and save and close. Here we go. We got our title and then we have the content that we can go ahead and write. So I can go ahead and get started with the terms that I can use right now. There's the outline, which I can bring inside the specific outlines. For example, if I like this one, I think that should be an H1 and I think this should be H12, also H2 for this. And then I'll expand from there. Now, in this case, I am not going to do it manually, but the idea is that you can, for example, get the outlines and then write content on your own or use AI for every single aspect of this. OK, now, in this case, let me go here and I'll go to smart headings and I can use the headings from here. If I like, I can use questions or I can just go ahead and use AI outline. For example, if I use AI outline, I have several options to include the following basic terms, include the following extended terms, etc. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and write for me. So I'm going to give it a few seconds and it's going to write all the outlines for me. Here we go. So now we have the outlines and it automatically added for me the H1, the H2, so the headings for each one of these, and it's well structured. So I definitely think this would be the easiest route in case you want to get started with Neuron Writer. And from this, we can expand each one of these as, uh, sections, right? For example, if I select this section, I can use AI writing and I can, for example, first off, rephrase this if I think it could be better. I can show AI writing templates or I can start a paragraph for this, right? So I'll use start a paragraph. So that's the H1 and I need the paragraph for this. 
And then again, we have the options on the right. We can add our own information there. But in case you just you're good to go, go ahead and write for me. So in this case, it's going to write and it's going to add the paragraph for this heading. Here we go. It just wrote it for me and it's based on this specific H1 heading, right? And again, I can do so with each one of these aspects or I can go ahead and rephrase this. I can expand it. I can do whatever I need with this. It's just super easy to use neural writer in this aspect. As I mentioned before, it's a great option to use manually or using AI and it's going to give you a rate of everything that's going on. So you graph, you have a graph right here of who the top competitors are and how they are doing and how you are going to rank with this content that you are writing. And if I expand my menu on the left, I can view the competitors, for example, the competition for this and see how they are competing. I can view them. I can update the information of how they're ranking competitor structure. And there's a lot of tools based on competition so you can rank your content better. And you have content options. You can export and import. You can bring it inside of WordPress if you connect it. You got your project resources and team and reporting in case you have team members here who are writing, especially if you have a virtual assistant. This is going to help you out because you can practically work on the outline and then have the virtual assistant work on the rest. So you decide how it's going to be structured and then they can write the rest. So it's a great lifetime deal that you can grab right now that's really popular. And I definitely think it's a winner. So again, the price is going to change. So I definitely think you should grab it right now and test it out. And if you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, go ahead and refund it. And the last deal that I want to talk about is one take. This one is also, again, a lifetime deal that just dropped on Black Friday and will be gone soon. And the price is also going to increase. So grab it now. Now, one take has a similar approach to Mimbo, but it has different features. OK, so in this case, again, I uploaded the same same video from Mimbo, which is the a uh, the iPhone launch. And this is what it generated for me automatically. Now, from there, I can go ahead and edit it. Let me, let me click play really quickly to deliver on, on Apple's, Apple's commitment, commitment to health with a breakthrough experience that will enrich so many people's lives. With, with updates, updates across the AirPods lineup, we continue to take the best personal audio experience in the world. The next generation of iPhone has been designed for Apple intelligence for conditions up to 2000 nits. When so it has different transitions. It adds the highlights on the left. It's a different approach to what Mimbo is doing. I would recommend this, for example, the format video that you're looking at right now, which would be recommended for YouTube. But you can also switch this to the different video style here. All right. Now, four options for this. All right. For example, we got our video details, which is the overall basics, the titles, the author uh, name. The author name is the one used in the beginning. So I do recommend that you change that. For example, if this is the Apple launch, I could change this to Apple, for example. That would be the author name that's going to be used, right? Then we have our poster details here. For example, in this case, it's dynamic. I can use neutral for a blurred background. So it depends what you want to use. I definitely recommend that you test these out and decide which one you want to use. The video style, here's the aspect ratio. So here's the ones that's selected right now. I can use the story mode, which is vertical mode, and it's going to switch it up right now. So let's give it a few seconds. OK, here we go. So let's see the preview now proud that we're continuing to deliver on Apple's commitment to health with a breakthrough experience. Different style, right? And there's several more styles that you can select from. Some are more flashy, more modern, some are more flashy, more modern, etc. You decide which one you want to use and test it out. Depending, depending on the type of video, that will work out best one than the other, right? You got your colors and fonts for the style here, for the player, for the fonts, etc. You can change it here. You got your splash screen that you can change at your logo, etc. Soundtrack if you want to add change language, if you want to translate this and virtual cameraman, if you want to use that. Right. So once you're good to go, you can go ahead and publish and share and you'd be good to go. Now you can go ahead and download it or you can share it via a link with one take. So different approach to video transformation per se than Mimbo. So I definitely think you should check out these three deals right now before they are gone. And I do want to recommend to you if you kind of like one of these, if you're not too sure, I definitely recommend that you grab it right now before the price changes and then decide if you're going to keep it or not. But there you go. I hope you like these Black Friday deals and more are going to be coming soon. So stick around.